Hello, that hairstylist community. Jimmy here at six feet away, guys. Come on. <laughs> um, I am here with my lovely friends, Sarah and Debbie. Hi. We are at their personal studio, Golden Mane. Beautiful yes. place, by the way, guys. They're going to be taking you through a tutorial of their infamous waves here in Baltimore and then showing you how they do their photography at the end of each client, you know, their Instagram, stuff like that. So follow them. I'm going to get out of the way so you guys can introduce yourselves and take it away. Hey guys, I'm Debbie and I'm going to be showing you how I do my signature main babe waves. And it's just a very effortless lived in look and I'm going to be taking you through that today with Sarah. And then we're going to be finishing out with some photography tips and tricks. Um, we're going to start on my beautiful model and partner in crime Sarah, which I'm sure a lot of you recognize her from my Instagram page. Um, this look is just very beachy, natural, tousled. It lasts for, I would say, a good three days each day. It just has like a slightly looser look. Um, so I'm going to show you how I do this, go over all the products that I use, um, and then hopefully you guys can recreate this at home. So to start, the most important thing is to have a really good blowout. That's really important in a very smooth look. So Sarah has very textured curly hair, so we gave her just a smooth blowout using my Ibiza brush B5. It's my favorite. Um, I used a little bit of a smoothing cream and some oil just to get it nice and shiny and just a good canvas to start for our waves. So before I start, I like to use two things, a little bit of hairspray and some texture spray. So I'm gonna kind of combine these two before I start working my curl in. Reason being is the hairspray has memory hold in it, so it'll definitely help in the longevity of the waves. And then the texture spray just gives the hair a little bit of grit. So if you just did like fresh color on your client and it's super soft and you can't get your curl to stay, it'll definitely help you with that. So just working that all through and then going in with a little bit of my texture spray. Just a really light mist. Perfect. And then I just like to brush it all in, work the product in. All right. So I always like to start with the front of the hair. Reason being is because I like that to set the most, so it just gives it that extra time to cool down. I'm using a inch and a quarter FHI flat iron. This is my go-to. I've been using this iron for years. I just feel like it gives me the best results. All right, so I'm gonna start with the front of her hair. I like to take about the width my section's about the width of the curling iron. Always keep my clamp in the front. And then I'm just gonna do one full turn, pull it out, just kind of stretch it a little bit, hold for a couple seconds, repeat. And then when I get to about the last inch or so, I just pull it straight down and out so that the ends are just nice, straight, and smooth. And then I'm just going to go right behind to the next section, right in front of her ear. Now, if you're working with someone that has a lot of frizz or texture, just give it like a once over before you even curl, just to let it set and give some smoothness. Would I fall into that category? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing smooth about this. <laughs> there goes my second piece. So I don't typically use clips. I just kind of like to just pick pieces up very organically. Just kind of how I'm feeling, how the hair is laying. Um, I like to use my claws as an extension of my hand just to kind of smooth the hair out 
And I do kind of like to go right up into that root area a little bit. It just gives it that extra body. And I'm just twisting, holding for a few seconds, and then pulling it out. Super loud next door today. <laughs> She's louder than um. Uh huh. What's your name that you see over there? So I'm starting, like I said, always with the front. That's where I like it to set the most. So I'm starting with a section about as wide as the curling iron, always curling away from the face. Clamp in the front. I do one full twist, hold it for a few seconds, unwrap and twist a few seconds. Same thing, and then once I get just about an inch or two left at the bottom, I just pull it straight down. I usually curl the pieces that are finer in front of the face a little bit more quickly. I don't like for there be too much heat on those pieces. Um, too much heat isn't always great for the hair either. I like to keep my temperature between like 365 to 400, just depending on how thick and coarse the hair is. But if your hair is finer, I definitely don't recommend higher than 365. That is the temperature in which glass is formed. So if <laughs> glass can be formed at 365, your curls can too. about to work on the back. I don't always work with a clip. I mean, if I have to, I will, but I, like I said, I just like to pick up the hair um, and just start curling. But what I like to do back here is just kind of imagine like a center part and I will continue to curl going um, back in this direction on each side. So everything just kind of comes together to the middle. Now, sometimes I will switch up the direction of the curl if I want something maybe a little bit more textury but for my main look I t tend to do it this way for just like a softer curl and so it's definitely a bit thicker and coarser back here so I will let it sit for maybe just a little bit extra in the um, iron And then I just put it out of the way towards the front and I work from top to bottom. All right, I am finishing up on my curls. 
Now, when I finish curling, I it, the most important thing is to let it sit and cool completely. What's a good time frame for that? I mean, so if I'm with a client, I will let her, I will just finish. I'll let her sit and then I'll like ring her out. I'll make her next appointment. So probably like five, like five minutes or so. And then I'll work on my finishing touches. So, um, once I finish with the curl and iron, sometimes I'll just take my iron. Actually, let me turn a little bit more towards here. And if need be, I'll just kind of smooth out the ends a little bit more. You can do this with a flat iron too if you want a much more like straight, blunt look. But with hers, I'm just trying to keep everything nice and soft. All right, so I'm gonna give her one more all over spray with the hairspray. And I'm gonna let it sit for five minutes. Okay guys. So, um, I finished, we've let it cool like a good solid, you know, five minutes. And what I'm going to do now is work back in my texture spray. I'm going to turn her around just so you guys can kind of see overall how I like to work it in. I always like to have them just tilt their head back a little bit, you know, don't strain their neck or anything, but just back a little. And I like to dig my hands in, lift and spray. This product smells glorious. I mean, just like a day at the beach. And what product is that? So this is the sexy hair texture, the surfer, surfer girl. So it smells like coconuts, mm -hmm. I would say. Mm -hmm. All right, so kind of work that in. Do a little more at the bottom. All right, now, one other technique I like to do is I like to take a little bit of a light pomade. This is from Alpha Parf, it's their fiber paste. It smells really yummy. Just take a little tiny bit. And then, rub it in my hands really, really well. And then just kind of work it through the hair. And start breaking up the curls. I like, now I won't use the fiber paste on somebody with finer hair, um, but somebody definitely with like a thicker texture, I will, because I feel like they need that little extra bit of sheen and smoothness. So just breaking it up. Sometimes I gotta get down real low. <laughs> get them squats in. Yes. So I'm liking how that looks, and I'll just kind of. Do a little more lifting. I just want to make sure I have a lot of body, especially if I'm going to be photographing. I want it to be almost too big. All right. It can never around. be too big. What are you never. talking about? So this is probably my client's favorite part. The last thing I like to do is just get in there and do like a little, maybe like 30 second scalp massage 30 second to five minutes <laughs> um, this just creates a little more volume like in the root area and then come forward I always like to split it in the back I just like to get my client if I'm taking pictures I just like to get it as ready as possible before we step outside and the wind ruins it for me. <laughs> I oh, sorry Jimmy, I'm breaking your stuff. I just like to get a little lift in the front and just kind of like piece it all out. Remember to bring the hair from the back forward. Now this texture spray definitely has some hold to it, so I still like to use it even as I'm finishing. I mean, I think 
think she's cute. I think it'll do. I think you gave the people what they want. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so I think we're done. Um. <laughs>
So I hope you enjoyed our tutorials today and got to take away some great tips from our photo session. <laughs> Please leave us some comments. Let us know what you liked, what you would like to see more of. And don't forget to subscribe to our friend Jimmy's channel and follow us on Instagram. Bye. Bye.